Ninja Lightsaber back with another video guys. I'm going to talk about Squid Grow, which as you can see on the chart, it is pumping. Alright guys, I've been talking about Squid Grow, letting people know about Squid Grow, best meme coin of 2022, best meme coin since Shiba Inu for example, and um, in my opinion of course, uh, and, and we're seeing the price begin to pump back to about 15 million market cap. Okay, so anyone that bought in down here is laughing right now. They have changed the buy taxes to 4%, so it's not going to hurt you to buy in. And if you're holding, of course, the 12% sell tax is not going to hurt you either. And that 12% sell tax will potentially be reduced back to, you know, where it was before, 8%. And uh, I mean, they are, you know, just being innovative, right, to get people to buy the token. So I like the fact that they've done that, and it just gives people a chance to get in without those high eight percent taxes so uh yeah pretty bullish and this is on the four hour chart of course if you're on a 15 minute chart i mean that's going to look like just a huge pump you're going to feel like you're too late or you missed it but i don't think so um you know you got to learn to zoom out right and um, none of this is financial advice by the way do your own research i'm only showing you what i'm doing i'm a holder of squid grow and buying the dips on squid grow and um, it's paying off right so, of course, if it goes back to the previous all-time high, the bag that I had over here is going to be much bigger. It's going to be worth a lot more. All right, guys. A uh, few updates. We have, uh, I'm a big fan of the UFC, right? And uh, this guy, Daniel Rodriguez, he fought the other day. And um, as you can see here, he is promoting Squid Grow or did promote Squid Grow. And... Uh, yeah, he mentioned Squid Grow and obviously he's wearing a big Squid Grow t-shirt with a website and stuff like that. So that is pretty bullish. I'm not sure if anybody's UFC fans, if you are, let me know in the comments. Um, Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson. Um, uh, you know, Kevin Holland versus Kamza and all that sort of stuff. Like, it was, you know, that's really my sport, you know. But, um, yeah, it's good to see, like, you know, a bit of promotion. Um, these guys don't normally get their own promo deals and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, this guy's using his resources, right? This is not official. Obviously, he's not going to be at the UFC wearing Squid Grow gear and stuff like that. But he's got his own social media platform, maybe. And, uh, you know, he can do what he wants on his own platform. So, yeah, that is pretty bullish, in my opinion. Got some celebrity endorsements. And so, on. He's, he's not that well known. Um, but um, he's got a platform, nevertheless. All right, guys. Um, what else? We also have uh, an announcement. If we go to the Telegram. So it says here, it is with great pleasure that I finally get to type up this announcement and deliver some ultra bullish news to you all. For some time now, Shiptoshi and I, the Squid Grow team, have been formulating a plan around building and releasing an NFT ecosystem that will include both a marketplace and multiple collections. The first smaller collection will likely be released very soon. This smaller collection is merely a fun warm-up for the real show. So what is the real show? Well, some of you may know who this person is and you don't, yeah, uh, uh, sorry, and if you don't, then you definitely have seen his work before in the form of DC Comics and Game of Thrones. For our main collection, we have now signed on Mike Miller, who will be completely drawing, designing our main Squid Grow NFT collection. We are so excited to have Mike here working with the team. This will surely be a collection unlike any other the Binance Smart Chain has ever seen. So Mike has already worked on a number of huge NFT collections, including Pluto Alliance, Funky Monkey, Frat House, sorry, Funky Monkey Frat House, Meta Bounty Hunters, Launch Chads, Lions Not Sheep, Meta Labs Agents, uh, the only ones that I've heard of uh, here is the Pluto Alliance. I believe the Pluto Pluto Alliance is a uh, is is Bitboy. I, I think that's Bitboy's. Um, I'm sure that's Bitboy's NFT project, right? Let me just uh, Pluto Alliance Bitboy Crypto. Um, yeah, Pluto Alliance is Bitboy Crypto's NFT project. So you know, uh, yeah, that's the only one that I recognise out of these. Um, but you know, he seems to be a, you know, a, a you know a good artist. He's worked on DC Comics, games, Game of Thrones, and so on. And his own crypto chat is launching very soon. Here is his Game of Thrones work. Uh, let's just have a look at this Game of Thrones work. Uh, for those Game of Thrones fans out there, House of the Dragon and all that, drop a comment in the comment section. Um, yeah, I mean NFTs is NFTs, you know, but um, you know they've got they've got a good artist, so you know we'll see if that that has any impact on you know the price. 
uh, the you know the marketplace and stuff like that. Um, I mean, yeah, bullish news. Bullish news uh, for the NFT fans out there. Also, drop a comment in the comment section. And um, yeah, really, I just wanted to highlight the, pro the the fact that the price is pumping. All right, guys. Of course, I'm super bullish on Squid Grow. We have a 701 KLP. I believe this is going to go absolutely nuts when it gets onto Ethereum, when it bridges to Ethereum. The liquidity is going to be matched by Shibtoshi himself. Shiba Inu billionaire, Bitcoin billionaire, doing AMAs. They're getting a the promotion out there. You know, what more can you ask for? All right, guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on this. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you get into Squid Grow? Let me know in the comments, guys. And that being said, it's a very quick video. Uh, so do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Like I said, drop a comment down below. Tick the little bell for notifications as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.